A smile of golden rainbows that touch down somewhere beyond the clouds. Cause baby, it is to me so profound. Like the wings of butterflies soaring beyond the horizon. Your strength, <laughs> unbreakable confidence. It's amazing how some things can be so beautiful. Hi, I'm Michelle A, and I'm on Bossit.com. Um, he gave me some dummy paperwork on his divorce, you know, because I've never been married. I don't know what that is, but what it was was it was a delusion of divorce, which is the first part of paperwork when you start. There's a, the, it's called a dissolvement form that you first send to the person that you're going to. It takes years to, to, to hash it out. I didn't know that. I've never been married, never wanted to. I don't know nothing about no paperwork. So he showed me this. He said, see, I'm divorced. And when I saw dissolvement, I thought, oh, okay, well, I guess he's not, they, it's over, right? So that was the first thing. But, um, you know, because I believed him, because they didn't live together, because she hadn't lived with him when I was with him, because she had a nice badass house over here, and he had a badass house. Can I say that? Yeah, and she had a bad, he had a bad ass house. So, you know, when you see two people living apart like that, and that you don't, and she got people doing, she doing what she doing, and he doing what he doing, what, what, what was I supposed to think? Right? So, I'm going to believe the person that's telling me this is what's going on. It was, like I said, I was a princess in a castle who didn't get to come out that often. So, I didn't get to see what you saw. Because every time I came out of my castle, I had two security guards with me who took me where I needed to go and made sure I came right back. So even if you would have approached me, me and you was not going to have a conversation other than how are you doing, hello, it's nice to see you. So even if you would have wanted to come and try and tell me, I would have never got the message. And I lived that life for six years. And I'm really glad that I had these two men that taught me that Maybe I needed to walk that way. That to teach me what love was. Because I didn't get it from my parents. So, you know, my mother never told me she loved me. She's dead now. And my father only have said it in the last couple of years since my mother died. And I said, I said it to him first and he said it to me. But now that I realize it, my father had never said that. So, I'm thinking maybe... That had a lot to do with a little, you know, sometimes. Sometimes you have to go back and figure out, why did I take that? Why did I stay there? Why was I? And they, and one thing that they were saying to me was, I love you. So I wasn't going to go anywhere because... <laughs> okay, because they said they love me. Even after they beat you, whatever they do, you just, you love them. And you just do and people can say what they want to and judge me and say, you didn't know. No, I didn't. And if, and if I did, I would have stayed because they loved me. And even if you want to call me an idiot, okay. But I thought that they loved me. I mean, I really think Dre loved me. I do. I think Dre loved me. I will say that. Right. I can say that about Dre. I think he loved me. He just didn't know how to love me. But that's why I tell my children all the time. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. And if you with somebody, you know, I love you. You know, it's so it's a huge word. It has nothing to do with money. It has nothing to do with anything else. It's if you just say something to somebody. If you say I love you to somebody, you know how huge that is? That's huge.